let's see. Uh, Bioware has announced that the remaster Mass Effect Collection, uh, the Legendary Edition, will include all previously released DLC with the exception of the first game's Pinnacle Station DLC. Uh, while ultimately of little consequence to the overarching narrative, uh, fans describe the combat scenario late in addition as an enjoyable inclusion to the base game. Uh, Pinnacle Station's exclusion from the collection stems from the DLC's developer, I, how do you pronounce this, Demiurge Studios, uh, losing the source code for the expansion. While oh, the team no. at, while the team at Bio... The guys, we don't know. <laughs> Uh, while the team at Bioware attempted countless ways to track down the source code, it was determined that the only two options were to either completely remake the DLC, which would add a, reportedly another full six months just to do it mm. uh, with most of the team that they have, or to simply exclude it from the collection. Um, as an anecdote, and I'm sure that Sarah is familiar with this, uh, Blue Point Games, the studio behind countless remaster collections, uh, directly rips data from retail discs in order to ensure 100% data copy. Uh, also, the catch being that the process is highly time consuming and requires intensive work to rework every single yeah. piece of data by hand. Uh, yeah, the reason I, I bring this up specifically is the uh, Silent Hill HD collection that came out, I believe, 2012 to maybe 2011, something like that. But the issue there and why that game was so fucked up is because they did lose the source code. So they had yeah, to use an earlier copy, which it was a, it was an incomplete game. And uh, higher ups at Konami were not willing to invest the time and resources into just doing yeah. basically the blue point method, which it, it is more work, all, um, but it's it's 100 percent on. Also, uh, for the Kingdom Hearts 1.5 collection that released on PlayStation 3, they had lost the entire source yeah. code of Kingdom Hearts 1, so they had to rebuild the fucking game from scratch. They had someone yeah. playing it on the development team, and they would just, like, look at the dude where he was at, yeah. just, like, recreate it from really scratch. Funny. So Did this a team, similar thing with the FF8 remaster, actually. Yeah, like, like yeah. This, this team working on Mass Effect has no fucking excuse. Just fucking rebuild it. Like, just have uh, someone play it on the and, development I mean, team. I mean, to, the, I'm, to Blue Point's credit with stuff like this, I mean, the AI for those enemies in the Demon Souls remaster, that's the same oh, AI not. from PS3, from PS3 Demon Souls. Mm. They they react exactly uh, the same. The I, whole of, that I, can, yeah. I think I'm of two minds of this in that one, um, I did play this DLC when it first came out. Um, I am not saddened by its exclusion whatsoever. I think... Um, having better content in the game is just going to make it a nicer, thinner package, and it's there's no narrative in it. Right, so I, I'm not saddened to see it, but every time I see the source code um, reason being brought up for why they couldn't do it, what they're really saying is we don't want to spend the time and resources onto this. Yeah, and which well, I, I don't personally blame them. Um, but yeah. for when it comes to other stuff like the Silent Hill situation, just like, yeah, you, you, you had this option. You just didn't want to invest in it. But uh, I look what, at what it, about you, Corey? I mean, um, or I'm sorry, go ahead. I'll, I'll let Corey talk, actually. I'm sorry. Say that again. I couldn't hear you. Oh, no. Just just asking yeah, for yeah, your yeah, thoughts, I guess. Uh, oh, OK. Yeah, um, basically. Yeah, I don't really have any thoughts. I, th I think when you brought up the the Silent Hill HD collection, that kind of hurt my soul uh, all over again. <laughs> Just like the, the Comic Sans sign and the glitch where, glitch where I think it's Heather like, can, can't move the same way anymore. Like she's stuck yeah. in the animation and she moves super fast. Yeah, yeah. people's teeth and their fucking eyeballs and stuff. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. yeah so... I don't really have too much in a, of an opinion on this topic, though. I just, uh, I, I don't know. I just hope that people get better. I hope that they don't take shortcuts. And uh, if you lose the source code, I don't know how that happens, but you got to back your shit up, people. You yeah, just got to back your shit up. <laughs> I will say to their, to their slight mean, credit, because it was developed by an external yeah. studio, uh, they might not have had the same um, archiving processes in mind. So to, so to them, it might have been like, okay, well, we did our job. Here is whatever executable to do it on. Uh, we need a clean space. We'll we'll get rid of it. But so that, that would at least be how the issue happened versus like an in-house mistake. You know, uh, it's just one of those things you got to make sure that you have all of your source files. Like when you're, if even if it's, if, even if you're outsourcing to a different company, you have to be like, okay, so you guys are done. You guys did your job. Okay. But give us, give us all of your source files, every single thing you even took notes on. Mm -hmm. Just literally package it together, 
get and then send it to us or give it to us on a hard drive or something like that so we can put it in a vault down the line if we choose to revisit it that would be I the responsible way of doing it i but will say i don't i'm sorry go ahead Corey. This, but this is like this is totally logistical. They clearly need better logistics. Like <laughs> I, I will say, from personal experience from working in a media production environment, um, there, there's been stuff from even from people that worked at the company from before me. Where, it, yes, it was years before I was even there, and then it comes up like, oh yeah, we need this file from this project. And I look for it where it, where it should be, and it's just, it's just non-existent. I'm just yeah. like, well, fuck. What, what do we do? We we need it. We don't have this. So. And I, I can understand why things happen, especially with obviously the place where I was working doesn't have the resources of a fucking Bioware EA, regardless if it was back in, uh, I believe, 2007 when Mass Effect 1 came out. Um, but yeah, they, they, they should back stuff up. Yeah, <laughs> it's very and I mean, like with Square Enix and in interviews about why FF8 was lost, they would always say like, yeah, you know, when we were doing whatever we were doing with that source code, we weren't really thinking about people remaking it. You know, we just put it somewhere. <laughs> and then it got lost. I think you know? people just need to embrace the uh, the blue point method. Yeah. Surefire and way, you know, but more resources, but it's going to uh, come down to basically someone signing off DLC, on that. I kind of think about it the same way Yoshi P was talking about cutting ultimate from the next uh, patch, which is like, you know, realistically, we're going to have to spend like two months of work on this. It might delay the expansion and it might delay the patch. Let's be realistic. How many people can play Ultimate, right? You have to beat the most recent Savage fight, which not that many people do. And then this is a fight that's way harder than even that. How many people are realistically going to go into it and actually clear it? Is it worth delaying the patch? And they decided no. And when I look at this DLC, it's like, I mean, it's pretty cool, but... I don't really want to do time trial combat missions in Mass Effect One. Yeah. When I have when I have two and three to look forward to on the same disc, you know, is it worth delaying the game six months to do this DLC? I, mm-hmm. I if I was if I was in charge, I really wouldn't think so. You know. Yeah, I think that's why I'm willing to give this more credence because I'm exactly in that same train of thought. Just yeah. like I played this DLC, I do not give a shit about this yeah, DLC one I mean, way or the other. I played it. It's cool ending i think you get at the end is pretty cool but i don't know just i don't think i would ever want to play it a second time but i think like, the fact that it's when you have two and three to look forward to i mean yeah why would i want to spend more time in mass effect one's combat versus yeah, two and three exactly. <laughs> the whole source code thing reminds me of when uh, uh bless you of when uh when night dive studios was talking about how they got the uh system shock 2 enhanced edition they literally had to uh contact the bank that the developer went oh, bankrupt God. to because the bank oh, owned God. it and they're like you don't know what the fuck we have and they're like <laughs> uh, we know what you have that's one of the biggest cult video games in history can we please have that and the bank's like i mean sure we don't know what this is but you can have it and that's how night dive studios got system shock 2 back <laughs> out of literally the dead was just going to the bank and being like, we know that you know that you don't know what you have. <laughs> we would like to have it. We will buy it from you. And so yeah. they bought it from the bank, and that's how we have the System Shock 2 Enhanced Edition happening in like in like a couple of months. Because literally, Night Dive went to a bank. And it's it's just nuts. When you think about the preservation thing, it's, a, it's nuts. Because source codes are in banks. Source, source codes are in people's like like random box of crap. Because they're like, oh, here's the source code of like this random game that was big in the 90s that no one cares about now. Only like a select few handful of people. And they're going to like sell it on eBay. And some rich dude is going to buy it. And it's just going to go hand to hand. And the sort- source codes are nuts. Especially yeah. for like old 90s stuff. Highly recommend you guys Google anything about source codes yeah. from like really old 90s games. Because it's a trip. 